All right, guys. So in this video, you guys are going to learn about right triangles. And this is probably part one. So what is a right triangle? Well, for one, it's called a right triangle because it has a, it is a triangle with three sides, right? And it also has to have one right angle. So it doesn't matter which where the right angle is, but the triangle just has to have one right angle. And in triangle ABC, that does have a right angle. So it is a right triangle. And next, we have the most infamous theorem in all of math, the Pythagorean theorem, which as you guys all know, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. This is very important, so remember this smiley face. So basically how it works is you have side lengths of two um, sides of a triangle, and they ask you to calculate the third, as in this example right here. So you're supposed to, you're asked to find x, right? But you don't know what x is. But you do have a right triangle. So this is where the Pythagorean theorem is going to come and play. So basically, let me show you the example. So 6 squared, right, plus 8 squared is equal to the length of the hypotenuse, which is equal to x squared. So we could just solve this, giving us 36 plus 64 is equal to x squared. So 100 is equal to x squared, and you could square root both sides, giving you the length of x is equal to 10. So this is equal to 10. And know that c has to always represent the hypotenuse of the triangle, of the right triangle, and a and b are just the lengths of the legs. So this is how you're going to do it for right triangles. And there are some special rules, though, for special right triangles. So these are two examples right here. So number one is the 45, 45, 90 triangle where the angle measures are 45 and 45 and 90 respectively. So what you're going to do in this case is not use the Pythagorean theorem, but memorize this special rule. So the length of the two legs are always going to be equal, and both of them are always going to be x. And while the hypotenuse is going to be x times root 2, and that's going to be the case for everything. So let's look at this example right here. So you're asked to find the lengths of x and y. And given that it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and you're given the hypotenuse of the, the triangle being 7 times root 2. So as you guys know here, you just plug in the value. So this is x, right? So these values are also x. Meaning that x, the value of x right here is going to be 7. And the value of y is going to be 7. So this is how you guys are going to apply the 45, 45, 90 triangle to figure out the lengths of each leg. And next is the 30, 60, 90 triangle, which is a little more difficult to understand but given a triangle with the degree measures of 30, 60, and 90, you can use this formula to find the lengths of the sides. So let's look at this example right here. So you have, all right, so this is 30 degrees, right? Meaning this other angle is 60 degrees. So if the 60 degree angle, the opposite of the 60 degree angle is four root three, opposite of the 60 degree angle is X times root three, right? It means that X is gonna have to equal to four and give known known that x is equal to four the value of the hypotenuse is two x meaning the value of y in this case is going to be four two times four which is eight so that's how you're going to use this these two formulas to figure out the lengths of two special right triangles and this is going to be pretty important in the sat so it's better if you guys memorize the pythagorean theorem and these two special right triangles Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.